it is dripping too much juice and too much stuff in here with your favorite divas gracing your screen. Yes, guys, welcome to your favorite show, The Crown Chase Ayo. And of course, I've been made your favorite screen diva, ever smiling, ever dazzling, ever glowing. Mm. <laughs> Are you day? And I remain that beautiful, intelligent, sassy, yeah. yeah. Okay, so now what should you be looking forward to on the show today? First up is the social media band. I will be hooking you up with all the juicy stories making their rounds on social media. And next up is Tea O'Clock, where one of us will be spilling the tea on what is bothering her. And finally, we'll move to my favorite segment of the show, Let's Play. And today we'll be playing a game of truth, mm -hmm. where we'll be telling... Mm -hmm truth about each other and nobody was like us now he has planned to lie but we'll catch her <laughs> <laughs> okay yes first up on the social media banter nollywood actress ngozun was says she's set to give love and marriage a chance again she also talked about um put a stance on polygamy and extramarital affairs now in an interview with an online platform yeah she um, goes who is 56 years old said that she's set to give love or she doesn't mind giving love and marriage a chance again i mean she's 56 she used to be married but no mm -hmm. longer married and she says if the right man comes away she will go for it then she also talked about um polygamy and extramarital affairs so according to her she cannot stand polygamy she she would not stay in a marriage that her husband will bring in another woman into the house but then if there were some indiscretions along the way and then there's a love child and everything she could con she could wear her options and consider training the child as her own but then she would never ever allow the lover or the mother of the child to stay with them in the house <laughs> case closed okay like first of all at the age you shouldn't be picky okay like at that age i don't think Women should be picky. Okay. It's like seriously, I don't think you should be picky. And if you're to marry someone that thinks about going to marry another person, yeah. you should already be aware of it or you should know the person you're getting married to. So it shouldn't be as a surprise when he wants to do that. So don't tell me when you get married to someone and said, I want to marry someone that's polygamy and all that, and you'll be like, No, you're against it. People show that before they marry you. If someone is going to marry someone else, you will know that this person has coins quite somewhere. <laughs> Definitely. I don't accept it too. I don't go along with it too. And let me tell you, let me be frank with you. I'm not going to be like her. If my husband gives a pregnant someone outside and said he's going to marry and I'm not okay with it, I'm going to walk out. There's nothing like I'm taking care of the child for love's sake and all that. I'm not doing any of it. Everybody should go their separate way. There's nothing like I'm going to accept the child, but I will not accept the wife. It doesn't, it doesn't happen anywhere. If you're accepting the child, definitely the mother is going to find her way into the family. That's how it's going to be. So I'm not everybody go. You the husband, the child, the okay, extra so wife. I feel like if someone is going to go into polygamy, I don't think so for example, I um if my husband, if I'm married and my husband decides he wants to marry another wife, I don't think that would have been a, something up for discussion before we got married. Yes, but because like, we I did not expect that. There are some things that your husband will tell you and it, it will be a shock to you. There are some people that normally have scoring when you marry yeah. them, you know, yes, this person has scoring. Yes. So if you tell me something, I will not be shocked that you're telling me something like this. So if you're, if you're saying something like that, you should be looking out for people, meaning you're going to be selective. And I'm saying someone of that age shouldn't be selective. For real. What do you mean by someone of that age? I 57. Mean, I feel like, no, no, I even don't agree with you on 56. But yeah, I really don't agree with you on this. So because I'm old or because I'm a certain age, I should settle. No, the age is settling in. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I totally disagree. She has been married before, by the way. She's no longer married. We don't know what happened in the marriage. And so if she decides to marry again, if she decides that, okay, this is the right person for me, I'm not going to settle just because I'm 36 or I'm 56 or I'm 70. There is nothing, please, it's my life. I am not going to settle. And if I say that this person is not right for me, or I can see too many red flags, no matter how, um, how old I am, I am not going into marriage with you. So when you say that it is a settling age, you are part of people that are causing feminists to be talking anyhow. No, it's not that. This is Nigeria. We all know that. So we should not because we know the truth and we'll just act like, uh, let's start fighting for something that's already, it's, it's there, it's So there. if you were 56 years old, you would just and you wanted you really wanted to get married like or not really in terms of desperate you're desperate but like if the right person comes no problem you, like you're open to the idea of love and marriage you will just settle if i can't settle i will not bother exactly so when you say 
when you say it's a she's saying age, no. it's if the right man comes which right man is going to come people find love at any age people find love at i'm actually shocked people find love at seven something there is no age limit to love i'm sorry if you, if you don't know about love come let me to tell you about love there is but really there is no age limit to love there's no age limit to falling in love people can fall in love at any time some some people are lucky enough to meet the right person for them at the early stages of their life and while some people actually meet the right person for them later on in life but there is no barrier or um, no no um, particular strategy or whatever to who you fall in love with or how you fall in love or when the right time is to fall in love no there is no perfect age to fall in love there is no perfect age. I'm not saying she cannot fall in love. I am saying she shouldn't be picky at the age. Being so because she can, because she, she's being, 56. The fact that she was already married in love. again. No, before. because she's 56 and she wants to fall in love. So she should just settle for whatever Miss Crans comes her way. No, not, I if, do not agree. If you cannot. Next. <laughs> I don't agree. <laughs> Next. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> that's, in fact, that's my own point of view though. Okay okay that's just it okay yes okay, okay. <laughs> next up guys naira mali corrects a fan that is bringing another meaning to his lyrics i know whenever i hear naira mali your face is always changing <laughs> okay naira mali <laughs> has corrected a fan that took another meaning to his name saying if naira mali come out for presidency he's mm. surely gonna vote for him like the Malians are like voting for their <laughs> yeah, all of them now. You wearing okay i'm like going are you wearing bills <laughs> okay, I'm going to read the um, post on Twitter and his own reply so you see how the story goes about. Okay, from Ayokunu, that's the person's handle on Twitter. He said, when Naramali said, Dakin Toda, that was when I made up my mind, I'll vote for him if he runs for presidency. He's considerate. That's what the person said. And Naramali replied, I was talking about rolling a dice, by the way, you all just have dirty mind. Pronounce that thing again. Dark into a dark. I why are you trying to like get to me? You know I'm evil for Please. crying out loud. I'm trying my best. So that they will not lead you astray. Dark into da. So that they will it's not dark into da. Whatever that means. Da into da. The fact is I pass the Which means in literal terms. Pour it before I before I pour it. Okay, people say there's a meaning called um come before I come, but mm. Naramali said I there's another, Naramali said there's another meaning, which is the meaning he had was, um, roll my dice before, roll, roll your, your dice, dice before, before I roll my mind. dice. That was the meaning he had. So you all should remove your dirty thinking from his lyrics and ask him before you start thinking, this is what my guy was thinking. Hey, well, that was not me, what he was I said, thinking. I was even going to go with the literal meaning, because all this coming, I don't know what people are talking about. I'm under a thing. I'm under a thing. Hello. So this is just for like, it before. <laughs> this is just to clarify people like giving meanings to artists and their lyrics. Like you have to let them give their meaning. Don't just give meaning to them. You understand what we're trying to say. This is normal. So speaking. my own issue right now. So because of that, he told that because of let's assume he's talking about come before, come before I come. Yes. That's why he was voting for president because he's a considerate person. Meaning, I mean, I'm considerate. You know. They usually say that ladies, women don't come as easily as men. Yes. Or, or, let me know if the word come. Men don't orgasm as easily as men. So basically, it's really considerate to allow you or to be patient enough to allow you to orgasm. Wow. So that is why a Nigerian, that is how to, the criteria to vote in a president. Uh, I never would vote for a considerate person yeah, because right. if you look at it, he's oh, been so considerate. Like most people don't think like he's putting you before him a president should be able to put their citizens before them and naramali is doing that even without being a president yet so on the i'm doing campaign for him and that's what i'm just doing right now like that's what we're doing so i'm just saying like the literal meaning he's being considerate do you see do you know how many people are considerate in nigeria and a man with money and everything, fame, is ready to put himself, like put you before him. Nah, go, leave this set. <laughs> Nara. Well, okay, no, but I'm now, there okay. for you. Like, I support this motion. Like, yes, I like what you just I've said. Been telling you, man, you never come, like, I feel like every morning when you come, you probably like, you know, done one or two rounds. Have anybody put themselves, put you before them? Nara Mali is putting the word. 
You people don't understand what he's saying. <laughs> like, you have to flow with him to understand the points he's pouring <laughs> out. Okay, so that. Anyway, but the most serious, let's talk about lyrical content. So now, Naramali says this is what he actually meant, or that, that was what he actually meant. Yeah. Well, a... A fan. A sincere fan. <laughs> Came up with his own a loyal fan. Meaning. Said that this is no. I wouldn't blame the person because that's what it means. No, no, no. You know most most artists when they put up their lyrics online yeah. and it's like a, a, a different language, not English. They yeah. put a bracket and give a literal meaning of and what they're trying to say. The so I guess that was where maybe the they not came put the literal because now let's talk about lyrical content. You know, a lot of artists. I I've been saying it. I've, I've never said it on the show, but a lot of artists these days they don't have lyrical content. We all be singing bass, bro. Sweet somewhere, sweet in the somewhere. The the bass, bro's music. That's all I can call it. They're all this. So now the the content, the lyrical content is can be quite misleading, especially because yeah. a lot of people are ardent followers of what you portray, of what you sing, of what you say. So now when you let, so when you talk about lyrical content in Nigerian music, I think it's poor. There are only few musicians i'm going to give example fire boy the only few musicians who like give like you know i would content. say um we don't really listen to the lyrics okay most of the time mm -hmm. we just the flow the is, yeah the beat yeah. is what we go with so most times we don't listen like i would say when we listen is when there's a diss and they're like doing a battle with their song, like doing the MI and Vector CJ. That yeah. was when I knew like 90% of Nigerians took their time to listen to listen the lyrics. To the but there was a time, Seth, um, what's the name of this um, boy? This um, Don Jazzy's new. Rema. Rema, sorry. When Rema sang that song, uh, Do Maybe. Mm -hmm. So when, they, when he came for an interview and then they asked him, What is the meaning of that? He said he didn't know. He was just singing and then he lost. Okay, he didn't know yet. Pom, 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 he didn't know what to pom, pom, add up pom, pom, again. Pom, pom, so he started just saying pom, 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 pom. things and then he felt, Oh, it went well. And then. So now that's the that's problem. Nigerian music doesn't really have lyrical content. Some and, do. It, and then even some that have lyrical content, it can be misleading. Is that sexual or something that encourages one bad habit or anything? We're Please. trying to help people reduce stress. So that is all we can take <laughs> on the social media banter. <laughs> because I don't know what Naya smokes this morning, but people should just pardon her. <laughs>